Hello and welcome back to another mini Let's Play. My name is Saiken and I am regularly looking at new games that just came out. Today we're going to look at The Inquisitor, which is a freshly released game uh, that is featuring a dark medieval Spanish Inquisitor on his journey to cleanse the world from vampires. Uh, although the game sees vampires a little bit different than the classical vampires. If you are interested in the Inquisitor, I will leave an affiliate link down below uh, for Games Workshop, uh, which will give you the best price uh, currently available. Um, so if you want to support the channel, it won't cost you anything more. It just uh, will net me a very small part of the revenue. Um, but only do that if you really like uh, the product and if you want to buy into it. Today we're going to do uh, the first and potentially only part of that mini Let's Play um, and just take a look at what's in store with the game The Inquisitor. Since I just recently played Banishers Ghost of New Eden, which is also a Witcher-like or Skyrim-like game, I felt the urge to dive headfirst into another RPG, action RPG as they uh, call it. And we're going to take a look at The Inquisitor and what they really do have in store. So without further ado, um, you can see my overall playtime so far is 15 minutes, but we're starting a new profile and we're going to give it a go. in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladine, licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. 
I need to check on the outpost at the other gates. You were right. He's an inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the inquisitors and seen you right away. Only they can wear them. Bloody dog catcher. <laughs> Quiet, fool. Or you'll bring trouble on our heads. All right, so time for us to start. Where is the fair uh, taking place or what did you call me? Uh, we're going to be the nice guy for now. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, master. But be wary of Russians. Them sons of whores are always lurking in the stands. All right, do you know anything about a vampire? Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. All right, so let's uh, tap and see what our job is. Go to the fair and <laughs> Yeah, that's our entire quest. Well, good that we opened that. And we learned something else, which is prayers. That's the way that the game is doing guidance. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, doesn't have an automatic bar on top of it, but it highlights objects of interest. Light, devoted candle. Not letting me compromise the pursuit of the truth. It's interesting that he prays, but there is kind of a dark spirit lingering. Uh, let me just uh, get uh, the sound effect a little bit. Uh, dialogue volume should be higher. All right, so that should fix it for you guys. For ruthlessness in fighting my enemies, I thank thee, Lord. Again, darkness. And it's interesting that he's praying for ruthlessness. I mean, there were a couple of Spanish fanatics. By the nails and falls. He stole my shirt skin. But this is atypical of them. It is atypical of them to pray for ruthlessness. He dashed there. All right, let's get that guy. So, apparently we did not get him this time. Next time, maybe. I like how they made it a bit of an interactive uh, charge. What I don't like is you need to press buttons in order to move forward. And being punished for that because I'm not hitting a specific button, but rather another one, uh, is a bit counterintuitive. Anyways, back to the Inquisitors. Merciless Mary, grant me the gift of sternness that I may never meet out punishment in moderation. I'm not sure if any one would have said that, other than the most fanatic ones. But I get it, he's kind of an inquisitor. I saw a couple of comments for the game 
uh, where people got triggered and said this is not Christianity, don't like it. I personally um, don't have such a strong opinion uh, there, but I can understand why people get uh, sensitive uh, when uh, it's being Christ portrayed is vengeful. that way. Fill my heart with the desire for vengeance. I'm not sure that a lot of people would use those uh, sounds. But okay, we are an Inquisitor, so I get it. Uh, what I don't get is what all of the praying gives us. Um, let's check what we're finding on the town square for now. It's still the game's uh, way of kind of introducing the mechanics of the game and uh, what is there so far. Uh, we've got rocked, and we understand there's a vampire, right? Let's meet the town folks, the good town folks here. To all daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge, a tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Schwebus. Well, well. The Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, Mayor. What is your name, Master? Mortimer. Maradine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the Monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, Add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him. Even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Uh, what to say to that? Uh, that is how a dialogue should not be written. Uh, but a 15 year uh, years old uh, person with limited social skills could have potentially written that a bit better. For starters, a guy like him is not randomly getting hit on by the hottest girl here and then a guy like him certainly doesn't say you know what i'm the coolest kid around but okay i digress um i don't want to slander that too much but that's an initial reaction upon reaching golgotha the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon jesus and said hop up onto the cross i've set up for you Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. 
It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom. So he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. <laughs> ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my paint. Jesus snatched the centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius' head. Thus fulfilling the oath and payment of one head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King. And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the Emperor. <laughs> Yeah, law accurate. <laughs> sure. All right, let's take a look at uh, combat. <laughs> Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. Little smug face that we have there. All right, perform light attacks. One, two, three. Okay, now it's our time to block. Good. You are supposed to guard. Excellent. All right, time for heavy attacks. Bam, bam, bam. And now time to dodge a couple of attacks. Bring it on. Oh, no, not that, that way. Was supposed to be a dodge? Good. Perfect parry. Parry just in time. That's one. Oh, oh, pardon. And that's two. Enough. Time for real combat. Alright. Then take that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I just played Banisher right before I did this uh, review, Banisher Ghost of New Eden. Um where, where to even start the model uh, movement for commercial game I, all I'm saying now for commercial game for for commercial game this is you've given me a not good uh, thank you it's not a very pleasant uh, maneuvering there was zero action pack. Uh, like the dodging was barely a sidestep that I've seen shareware fencing simulations that uh, were uh, more accurate hitboxes all over the place and it certainly doesn't help that this guy looks like a schmuck um, all right not a good impression let's continue let's continue Maybe the game is offering a bit more. We have a couple have of other things. You have to pick up the pail, move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position, and then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to start again from the beginning. My point is the following. If you're having an action RPG like Skyrim, Witcher, uh, whatever, Banishers, uh, because it has just recently been released, and your core combat is not good, then you do have a problem, like a massive one. And that first uh, mid-duration of combat was laughable. All right, let's go.
Yeah, so the problem with the combat, let's, uh, after kind of that was easy. reflecting on my, yeah, that was easy, of course. Um, after reflecting on my very first uh, initial judgment, I think the problem with the combat is the following. If you're having just one character in a 3D world, uh, mm, you, you need to have crisp movements. Uh, Tekken was the, actually the first game that did that very well with side steps and so on. So really precise hitbox management. Secondly, the fight needs to have a certain amount of fluidity, which also means that the swings that you're doing uh, need to somewhat resemble what would uh, what would happen. And uh, I do appreciate that they are going for a bit more realistic style here where you're not uh, jumping through the air or being a superhero, but still, that was a bit, we it was just a bad experience. We're going to have a fight, a real fight, and I then hopefully the that's better. I must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metadine, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, Citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, his eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. Okay, well. I suppose you need to raise a lot of funds then. So what do we have here? Find the needle, find a needle in the haystack. Where is the needle in the haystack thing? Find a needle in a haystack. There's hay here. How do we find one? Find a needle in a haystack or find uh, the costume stand. Well, I think the costume stand might be easier. Let's start here and see what that, this is about. Eavesdropping helps you to gain information you need. Okay, let's uh, try out how that works. Okay, we got a couple of conversations. Let's just Why check out. this chap beheaded? They say he pissed on his eminence's boots while drunk. It's good he didn't shit in them. Or they torture the poor bastard. Interesting. Did you see the milk jugs on Helga? Sure did. I've never seen bigger ones in my life. I hear she likes the hump, but only the Spanish way. What way is that? How should I know? I've never been to Spain. I bet you have to grab her by those jugs like a bull by the horns. You have to detail, you mean? Haven't seen him. He was here a moment ago. Look, he even left some flour behind. Hmm. I have not a hundred, uh, a hundred percent a clue what uh, what they were talking about. But there is flour, uh, flour on the ground. So apparently that might be something to consider. So we are just following the flour stand. What does that do for us? What happened to you, lad? What? Can't you see? Three lowlifes jumped me near the market square. They beat me bloody and then robbed me. By the Lord's sword, what are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I've no flower, man. I got mugged on my way to the fair. They took the money, the sacks. They, they even took the wheelbarrow. Damnation! 
I hope the whore sons shit themselves bloody. Pardon my foul language, Master. You try to do something for the town, you have a noble purpose, but you just can't win. Oh well. Find a needle in the haystack. Did we get something out of that quest, or did we just find out that uh, there is a bit of a problem? That's strange. It's the same punk who robbed me. Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! The little snot reeks of rotten fish. I must have bathed in perfume. Made me lose the scent. Did he get rid of the stench? Got you! It's not him! Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's car. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the plague of pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Hmm. Thievery deserves punishment or return the apple to a merchant and off you go. Well, we'll be kind today. Give the apple back and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his car. Off you go then. I need your fill. Okay. So, what did my journal tell me? Catch the ruffian, chase after the ruffian, return to the... Uh, to the stand with costumes which is i think over here it's the inquisitor welcome master inquisitor how can i be of service inquisitor well we're colleagues then name's roland master executioner no we're not colleagues we are no colleagues. I'd like to buy a mask for tomorrow's parade. Hold your horses there, Inquisitor. I was here first. Well, merchant, do you have any garb worthy of an executioner? For you, Master Executioner, I uh, have something special. Here are the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tianon. The butcher who disappeared off the face of the earth a few years ago. He was a devil. So devils dragged him under. He's sure to be dancing in hell as we speak. Poppycock! Piss off or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the merry executioner from Tiananmen find its way to a merchant's stand? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it? All right, what's happening?
What did you dig up there, friend? It's been a while since I've had a vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? The butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as royal executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the merry executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him, so I know that he considered the jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... bought it, Master? Hmm. No, no, he's lying. Don't lie or you'll end up in the pillory. I'll tell you everything, my lord. Don't hurt me. An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road leading through the woods. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. Your words stink of lies. It was as I said. I swear. I'll get to the truth one way or another. I'll be back if I discover you played me for a fool. All right, clue acquisition. We can pray to find things beyond sight. And there's definitely something over here. That's the guy with the uh, with the training, but maybe this hey, fellow know, uh, knows. Have something. you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So maybe my grandpa is a vampire? <laughs> he, he's got to be a hundred years old <laughs> why are you laughing all right look for more clues or go to the underworld look inquisitor i put your silver angel to good use you bought a dog instead of food i saw it at the stand with masks the merchant's son was tormenting him something awful. I couldn't just ignore it. He looks like the mutt I saw in my vision. What's it called? Don't know. I haven't named it yet. How about friend? Yes, it suits him. <laughs> and I think he likes it. How about it, friend? You're looking in the care. wrong way. Don't worry, Inquisitor. He'll be happy with me. Let's go, friend. I wasn't wrong. It's the dog from the vision. I wonder how it ended up at the merchant stand. Maybe I'll find out in the unworld. Okay, time for the unworld, wherever that is. This game has a very strange pacing. It gives you a couple of clues. But then it never really tells you the f uh, the full story and it info dumps a bit too much on you so i may cast the first stone for instance the two guys that were talking about the executioner i mean the game uh, portrayed him as a miserable being he pick immediately picked the fight with you 
And th that's fine, I don't mind that. Um, I guess what wasn't done so good is uh, that then in the middle of a dialogue the other two chaps uh, interrupted. This is a good place for journey to the unworld. And we're essentially trying to, to tell you just how much of a menace this guy really is. And then the dialogue resumed and... Our father, what our king, bereaved of our weakness, lest we forgive those who trespass against us, and draw our evil from darkness, so we may vanquish in thy name. Amen. What was just happening? Okay, so we're going into the unworld. We're looking like 15 times more cool over here. The unworld. You came to the unworld and then uh, to uncover the truth. Your life depends on the light that emanates from here. When you lose it, you die. Not sure where we are, what the unworld is. Um, yeah, but you can just randomly or Walk off a mountain. Okay. All right. Sure. Yeah. Your life depends on the light. Okay. Cool. Shards. The light beams visible during prayer will show you the location of shards. When you gather them all, you will experience a sanctuary vision. Looking all smooth and cool. Light wells. The light well is a place where you can hide, activate it to extract light from it. Uh, this will create a barrier that uh, Merc cannot penetrate. You will also regenerate your light. But light hasn't really been a problem so far. Okay. Oh, I needed to tap. I see. Let's try that again. I still don't know where we are. Uh, this makes the whole thing way more mystical than it needs to be. Like he's an inquisitor, he's not like an archmage. I think the team would have been a bit better off with using a different setting. The Merc. Uh, there are beings in the unworld that will constantly track you. It's a Merc, beware of it. Use prayer to become less visible to the Merc. You can hide from its deadly gaze and encounter it higher hideouts okay Mask. 
Okay, so apparently these things are bad, but we don't know where they are coming from. The game is explaining to you that they are bad, but it does not give you any context why this is happening. Nah, we don't need uh, light, we're good. We haven't lost any light. The only thing that we lost ever was our balance when we fell down. Brood of the Murk. Some islands in the underworld are controlled by the Brood of the Murk. Uh, made of darkness, Phantoms will attack you and get their way. Okay. Prayer helps to bypass them. Your amulet betrayed you. After collecting the shards, go to the sanctuary, you will experience a vision. Okay, well, let's hope that that is going to happen now. We collected all of the shards, gotten to know the creatures of uh, the underworld. Or the unworld, as they call it. Should have sold me the mask and costume when I was asking nicely, which you're probably wondering how I knew you for a witch. Hmm? Your amulet betrayed you. <laughs> we'll meet again, Knave. I don't think so. Farewell, friend. She calls a dog friend. Hmm. All right, so that apparently is how he solves his riddles. He just goes into a deep trance steals away stuff from beings of the unworld beings of darkness and then comes to conclusions and now can judge people based on that we can i must have some wine the unworld drained my life force as usual First, I'll have words with the merchant. Damn peddler lied to me. He didn't buy that mask. You lied to me, merchant. You didn't buy the Mary Executioner's costume. You took it from the old lady that you burnt at the stake. How do you know all this? You can't hide the truth from an Inquisitor. Didn't you know that? Forgive me, Master. I didn't want to speak of it in front of my customers. They wouldn't buy my wares that they heard. She was a witch. A real witch. I did a good deed by killing her. You would have done the same in my place. The Mandrake amulet you took from her has to be destroyed. Give it to me. All right. Uh, we are not tolerating lynching. The Holy Office does not tolerate lynching. Only licensed inquisitors are allowed to sentence people to the stake, and only after a thorough investigation. You are not a licensed inquisitor, are you? Guards! Yes, Master. The merchant violated an inquisitorial prerogative. Take him to the dungeon. Leave me be! I haven't done anything wrong! She was a witch! Get your fucking hands off my father, you scoundrels! The mouthy punk was tormenting the dog. Put him in the stocks for an entire day. 
Let the children throw some horse dung at him. It'll teach the punk to treat lesser creatures with respect. With pleasure, master. Ah! Ow! Ow! I won't bear to stand! Uh, we're confiscating. In the name of the Holy Office, I hereby confiscate the merchandise to cover the costs of your trial. Seal this lousy stand once he's locked in a cell. Unless the people steal everything by then. No. I'll beg you. It's all I have. Now that this is settled, I could use some wine. All right, me too. Um, yeah, that was uh, Inquisitors uh, or Inquisitor. Uh, gave you a first impression of the game. A bit of a mixed uh, bag, uh, but I don't want to slander it. If you are into medieval Inquisitions, this might be just what you're looking for. I personally do not. Uh, I think for me personally, the um, downsides outweigh the upsides of uh, the game. But it might be just the type of game that you are looking for. I think it has a couple of cool features. The eavesdropping was nice. Uh, the praying itself is generally not too bad. Um, and maybe later in the game it uh, becomes even better. But the for me personally, the dialogue writing, just uh, the way that uh, the core mechanic works, all of this is not very engaging. And... Uh, mm, games typically put their best foot forward on the first uh, few hours so if this is a game uh, or they're a game then uh, the latter part of the content might not be as exciting anyways uh, that's all i got for today thank you and have a great day um, i'll do a review of the game if you want to see new other games check out my channel i have quite a bit going on there and uh, see you in the next episodes bye bye